This is a Sprinter 4x4 customized by Rome Built. And you might think to yourself, that is the ultimate off-road Sprinter. Well, if you do, you'd probably be wrong because it's this Sprinter, the Inglehout 4x4. And why is it so off-road capable and so much better than the Mercedes 4x4? Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you. Tell me about the Inglehot Allrad because this is apparently the world's most capable <laughs> this sprinter. Is, yeah. You've so. taken the 4x4 four four and taken it to the next level because this has not one, not two, but get this three locking discs. Three dips. locking discs. So tell me about the truck. So Allrad yep. is the word for all-wheel drive. Yep. So Inglehot takes a two-wheel drive, turns it into permanent all-wheel drive, perfect 50-50 front-to-rear power split, uh, and real high-low transfer case and three locking differentials so, so you can lock the center the rear and the front so that one right there that's the mercedes <laughs> four by four sprinter right correct and, and mercedes says that that's good for like the road mercedes but, describes their system as for extreme road conditions yeah. so they're assuming you still have a road underneath you this is a true old school four by four system off-road capable system. You buy a two-wheel drive yeah. Sprinter yeah. In, in anywhere in North America, yeah. then I do all the logistics. Yeah. I'm their US partner. Yeah. The two-wheel drive gets shipped to Germany. Yeah. It gets converted in Germany because of quality control and just expertise and experience. Process takes about six months and then the uh, vehicle comes back and I deliver it to you and you get the ultimate off-road van. Now the really cool system about the, uh, about the system is that you lose none of the on-road performance. Um, you choose the tire size, the entire system is calibrated and re-geared for the tire size. So it accelerates like a Sprinter, it still handles like a Sprinter. Um, Eaglehout has been around for almost 40 years. They're a worldwide Mercedes van partner, so they're the only company who can do this kind of conversion without voiding the warranty. And the powertrain is the same, right? We don't touch the engine, we don't touch the transmission. Diesel? Six, six cylinder turbo diesel. diesel. Yep. Okay. Alright, so let, show me show me what you've done. So you got how big are these tires? So these are 37 inch tires, yep. mud terrains. Yep. Uh, they now have almost 20,000 miles on them. Yep. And you can tell they're pretty nice balance of the system. In order to fit 37 inch tires, we actually open the wheel well and add the fender flares and we also upgrade the front brakes because of the, the mass. Um, can show you inside, we should go around to the other side really quick. We put a centrifugal snorkel, which uh, sounds like a fire-breathing dragon when you hit the accelerator. And then, so electronically, mechanical lockers that are electronically engaged by push button. And then over here, you can see old school, go in there, old school, high-low transfer case with a one to two and a half reduction. You know, that's almost like a G-Wagon. Yeah. Same kind of button setup. <laughs> they started with putting G-Wagon drivetrains under vans, and uh, and now, you know, almost 40 years later, they've developed their own system. They use as many Mercedes components as possible, but some of them are not Mercedes. Let's jump inside since it's uh, raining. Yep. So think of it as a G-Wagon with just a lot more room, but let's see what you can do with all that room. Bit of a mess, but okay. wow. <laughs> jump in. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a good step up. Leave the door open for the light. So this is my little, uh, so we also, we do the Sprinter and we also do the Metris. Um, this is an adventure wagon interior kit. I've been on the road for almost a year, uh, showing the van at different expos and just talking about it. Um, so you could do the same thing in the Metris, so you could get the same... You do the same thing in the Metris. We're That's working cool. on a Metris. Yeah. So the future, we're working on a Metris. We're actually partnering with Rome Built and RRE Global because they do the pop top for the Metris. Uh, they have some interesting products like the smart floor. Um, Rome Built is working on actually a cool roof rack for a Metris and bumpers. Is, is this a tall one or is this a regular one? This is, you know, I think it's the regular one. Yeah, because there is a taller one. There is a taller one, yeah. Yep. And you can do the taller one too? 
We could do the tall one too. So you buy one, it's like what, 50,000 for the two wheel drive, right? Yeah. And then how much does it cost to, to you know, get it all so, to this level? Yeah, the conversion starts at about 50 grand. Yeah. And then if you're looking at this with three lockers, 37 inch tires, centrifugal snorkel, their sp spare wheel carrier, and we also offer 48 gallon replacement fuel tank, which gives you twice the range. By the time the vehicle's back in the States, it's about 135, 140,000. And how long is that process? About six months. Six months, let's go back outside. Yeah. It's, still, it's still an empty shell. Yeah. Um, then you can take it to, you know, this is a fairly simple way to go, the adventure wagon kit, but it's an amazing kit that you can build off of. Or you take it to one of the premier builders and put a beautiful interior, and then you have the capabilities to go where other vans can't go. And, you so know. I noticed that you've got a lot of the same stuff that Rome built has on yours, right? So you've got a winch. Let's look at the winch. I again. do, yep. yeah. Let's see what um, you put on there. I just, I think that for um, for the Eagle How the Rome built exterior products were just absolutely the best ones out there. Um, <clears throat> function wise, this is a it's a true winch bumper. It's actually, it's not attached to the front bolts of the frame. It actually wraps around the frame. It's a twelve thousand pound winch so I know it's not going to be yanked out. Um, this is the new 2.0 Safari rack designed for the new Sprinter which has sort of softer lines so instead of a flat front it has that nice curvature. Um, side steps which are awesome because I would rather hit and bend the side steps than the, than the bottom of the frame and then this was my step in. <laughs> It's almost table height. How much ground um, clearance do you have? I don't know. I don't exactly Enough. know. Enough. Yeah. So, yeah. So it looks like you've taken it off road. Have you taken it off road? And how good is it off road? Um, it's it's very good yeah. off road. So um, as far as so I had Scott Brady from Overland Journal. Yeah, I know Scott. Test drove it in his test track, and he got out and he I can't repeat the word he said, and I thought there's something wrong and he said well he's like he goes to have this capability and the ability to have an apartment behind you he said I'm so tired of sleeping in a rooftop tent and he goes I might have to get one of these so it's a very it gives you it just you know it's not a rock crawler it's not a Baja truck but it gives you incredible control to get over obstacles to go through deep sand Mud, I mean, I, I was on the beach, I hadn't aired down, I didn't go into low, and it has no problem just driving normally through deep sand. And I've gone, last rally where there was a mud hole where everybody got stuck, and they said, well, you gotta go around, you gotta go around. And I said, I, ha I, I, like, I have to go through it because I need to see. And I just drove right through it. Uh, what kind of fuel economy are you getting? Um, at 80 miles an hour, yeah. cruising down the freeway with all the weight and roof rack stuff, I'm averaging 14 miles to the gallon, which is comparable to the 4x4. Yeah, it's not bad. I've actually, we've been tooling around for the last couple of weeks, and I've been getting a couple of miles to the gallon better than the than the 4x4, so. And, and what's your favorite part of the van, you know? Um, I will never go back to the normal system. I would rather go forego exterior bling, interior build out and have this and have a mattress and this capability because it allows you to because it's it's an overland vehicle it allows you to go to remote places that you can't go with a normal van and the most important question for you if people want to get one wh where do they go you have a website how do they get a hold of you? <laughs> i have a website i'm on instagram yeah. eagle out all around usa okay. my website is eagle out all around usa.com there you go my email is info at eaglehoutallradusa.com. Uh, so, yeah. so guys, if you want to get yourself the most capable, the most, well, let's call it Jeep worthy, right? Because it's like a Jeep, Wrangler worthy yep. uh, Sprinter, you know where to go. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. So if you're into hashtag van life and you want the ultimate Sprinter, you know, the one that takes it to 10 on the van off-road scale, well, this is your ultimate ride. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fastlane Truck. Check out tfltruck.com for more news, views, and of course, hashtag van life reviews. See you guys next time. Ciao.